Hi everyone, this video is a continuation of an earlier one that I had done, 10 important things that you need to know before renting an apartment in Mumbai. In this video, we'll be talking about three different aspects. One is annual escalation, the second is advanced rent, and the third is a heavy deposit rental. Hi, my name is Ravi Keval Ramani, and I'm a second generation real estate agent based out of Mumbai. I'll put a link below in the description of the previous video that I had done as well as you can click on it at the end of this video. Annual rental escalation. What this means is that your rent is going to be increasing on an annual yearly basis by a certain percentage. That percentage could be anywhere from 5% to 10%. The annual escalation is compounded. So say if your uh, monthly rent is rupees 10,000 and you have a three year lease agreement with the landlord. So your year one rent is going to be 10,000 rupees. Your year two rent is going to be 11,000 rupees, a 10% increment on uh, the previous year's uh, rent of 10,000. And your year three rent will be 12,100, a 10% increment on 11,000 rupees. Like all the other aspects that I've mentioned before on pricing, negotiation is possible even on annual rental escalation. So uh, on usually on a lower ticket uh, rental, you're looking at an annual rent uh, escalation of around 10%, but on higher rentals, they usually range around 5% or 6% on an annual basis. So just keep in mind that you can even negotiate on the annual rental escalation with the landlord. Now coming on to the second point of advanced rent. You would ask me, advanced rent is something that I pay anyways to the landlord. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is paying your entire year's rent in one shot to the owner. Yes, let me repeat that by paying the end entire rent for the year in one shot to the owner. That's what I'm talking about. Now you'll ask me, why do I pay the entire year's rent in one shot to the owner? Well, one of the biggest advantage that a tenant has when they pay the entire rent in one shot for the year is negotiations there is an enormous discount there's a possibility of getting an enormous discount in such a situation let me give you an example you really 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 like an apartment but it's beyond your budget say the owner is asking 50,000 rupees monthly rent which is around 6 lakh rupees for the entire year but you have budgeted roughly about four and a half lakh rupees which you have ready with you in your bank account you don't want to let go of that apartment so what you can do in this such a situation is you can actually just put an offer to the landlord to the property owner and tell him that I'm willing to pay you four and a half lakh rupees rent for the entire year in one shot. There is no harm in trying and asking that from the landlord. There are advantages for the landlord also in such situations to get the rent in advance. One of the biggest is security. The landlord doesn't have to worry about bounce checks, about going to the bank on a regular basis, about late payments. These are, these are things that psychologically play a lot with landlords. Every property owner has gone through it. So when you do give that advantage to the landlord, the biggest advantage that as a tenant you have in your hand is the fact that you can pay this monthly rent in one shot for the entire year. The owner definitely is going to think about an offer when it comes like this. However, keep one point in mind, in case the owner is okay for the entire year's rent to be paid in one shot, do not pay a security deposit or you can pay an extremely nominal security deposit, uh, maybe just around a 15 days uh, rental period or maybe just a one month's rent as a deposit to the owner just to safeguard in case of any utility bills that are pending or any other little damage work that has happened while you were in the apartment. Annual advance rent might not work all the time. There might be some landlords who really don't care for all of that money coming in one shot. Maybe he doesn't need that money at this point of time. He'd rather have a higher rental amount. But still, there's no harm in giving it a try. Maybe you get an advantage. Maybe you save that money and go for a nice vacation. Going on to the next one, heavy deposit rental. A heavy deposit rental is where you pay a huge lump sum of money in one shot to the property owner for renting out an apartment and you don't pay any rent during the time that you're actually at the apartment. So say for example, you have a two BHA apartment and the owner is asking rupees 50 lakhs as a heavy deposit on the apartment. You pay that money of 50 lakhs to the owner and you don't pay any rent for the time that you're actually in the apartment. These kind of transactions do happen. They don't happen as much as they used to happen previously. Heavy deposit rentals do sound enticing to a lot of tenants. 
but there are certain things that you need to keep in mind. These are extremely, extremely risky. In my experience, most of the people who actually ask for a heavy deposit are either in financial distress or are planning to live off the interest that they're going to get from that deposit. As a real estate agent, I don't recommend heavy deposit rentals. The main reason why is because say if you want to leave the apartment and the landlord is not in a position to pay you the money back, then you're just stuck in a very tight situation where you're living in an apartment that you don't want to live in and you can't even get the money that you've already paid. There you go. There are a few more things for you to ponder about. I hope this video was helpful to you. If um, you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. You will be notified about more videos that I'll be coming up next.